These are these soaked red chilies that we have specially grown for us for our red curry that bring a lot of flavor and depth to the, to the product. Once we have that ready, we, we bring it up to our kettle deck, cook it with organic coconut milk and organic tamari and let that simmer until it's just the right consistency. Fred Scarpula Jr., Vice President of Culinary at Amy's Kitchen, has mastered the Thai red curry recipe during his 22 years with the company, but he gives his staff all the credit. This is Omar. Omar's been cooking up here on this kettle deck for 18 years now. After every sauce we make is ready, the cook and a quality assurance personnel will taste that sauce together and clear it to be used at the next step. I'm going to do right now the pH, and then I'm going to make the um, viscosity to see how thick it is the sauce. And then after all this test, we call the, the, the uh, good and let it know it's good to release. Adelino Gallardo is a quality assurance specialist. She ensures all products are up to the Amy's Kitchen standard. I'm passionate to work doing this because I like the, you know, to taste, to see. This year is her 25th anniversary with the company and she is determined to bring the consumer complete taste satisfaction. Let's pause on the process and take you back to where it all began before the soups, burritos, and hearty bowls we all know and love. Founders Rachel and Andy Berliner cooked up Amy's Kitchen in their wine country farmhouse back in 1987. It's impossible to separate the birth of Amy's Kitchen from the birth of their daughter, Amy. When Rachel was pregnant with Amy, um, she was about her seventh month of pregnancy. She strained a muscle and the doctor said basically, stay off your feet as much as possible. So she asked me to cook dinner. He had never really cooked before. I still haven't. Andy went looking for ready-made meals at their natural grocery store, and when he could not find anything organic and vegetarian that satisfied their taste buds, they decided to make their own. The first dish Andy and Rachel created was a pot pie. While Rachel and Andy were giving life to a new business, they welcomed their baby girl to the world and gave her the name Amy, which then took shape as the name of their new company. The name Amy's came from Rachel's mom because she said you're doing this for her to provide income and education and all that, so why not name the company after her? We always felt it was a magical name, Amy. It just, people loved it. And actually when they meet me, they always say, are you Amy? And they're so disappointed when I'm not. <laughs> In May of 1991, with their Sonoma kitchen up and running, the Berliners were able to add a few more items to the menu. They started making burritos and mac and cheese. And a few years later, the first hand-stretched pizza. Today, Amy's Kitchen is credited with being a pioneer in organic frozen foods, and Rachel says it all goes back to her youth. That was how I was raised. I rebelled for a while and went next door and had uh, peanut butter, creamy white bread. white bread, and do all those things like kids do. But then as I grew older, it was part of my way of being. And it shows what the organic foods Rachel and Andy use in their products, like Amy's famous Thai red curry, which on our trip to the factory is now fixing to hit the production line. We add organic jasmine rice, organic broccoli, organic butternut squash, organic carrots and green beans. And then the yummy red Thai curry sauce. The meal then goes through a blast freezer is sealed with a plastic cover and onto packaging that you see in the grocery store. It's then boxed up and put into a freezer for distribution. The magic of Amy's can always be found in the food, but it's also apparent in the relationship between owners Andy and Rachel and their employees who could not imagine working anywhere else. The owner is amazing. For me, it's, uh, we think it is part of the family. It's just our nature that uh, our employees were part of our family. We wouldn't exist without them. Uh, we owe them so much. We love them. They're the heart of the company.